Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm going to uh, talk about um, layers in ODS and uh, about some aspects of the implementation in LibreOffice. Most of you will uh, likely um, know layers from other ap applications. Uh, they are mostly used to um, provide a, a set order for objects. Uh, here is a screenshot from paint.net. Uh, those imaging, image processing uh, applications provide um, the layers uh, while the user is working on the document and most of them have an own file format to uh, keep the layers uh, while the user is working on the document, but when the final format is um, produced, these layers are merged in different ways, uh, but uh, the final formats like a PNG or SVG uh, do not know any kind of layers. Uh, put this knowledge a little aside, layers in ODS uh, work other way. Uh, I, I will first show you uh, how layers might be uh, shown to the user. We have a, a look here. I must resize it a little bit so that you can see. I'm not sure that it is readable because it's so small. Uh, the layers um, are provided here with a, a layer tab uh, where the layers which exist are listed. Look. Come. I think that's a little bit <laughs> larger. Uh, here I have um, uh, layers, uh, a layer circle I have uh, defined myself and layer triangle uh, I have defined uh, two and uh, this is LibreOffice, there are the uh, layers uh, layout, controls and uh, dimension, <coughs> dimension lines uh, they are default layers and are uh, always present. So what we, <laughs> when you now click on an uh, object, you uh, will see in the uh, status bar to which layer this object belongs. That is you, in LibreOffice it is on the left side and in Apache OpenOffice it is on the, on the right side, but you get the information where it is. When I click on the uh, triangle, I see here it is on layer triangle. Uh, this has, when I now change the arrangement and put this triangle back, you will see that has, this has not changed anything to the layers. This means that layers are independent from that order. Looking at another topic. Here's another, <coughs> another example. It has, uh, in addition, some measure lines. Uh, they are grouped. I have a, a group um, a triangle. It contains the triangle itself and the three measure lines. And I have a group circle, which contains of the circle and a measure line. When I now set this uh, layer to invisible, you see 
that not only one uh, object changed, sondern but uh, all measure lines are invisible now. Conclusion, layers have nothing to do with grouping. So you know what is not, it's, now it's the question, what are layers? When you, uh, you come near to what a layer is, when you use a context menu of such a layer tab, and there you choose uh, modify layer, now you get a dialog uh, where you can set something. In the upper part, you can set a name, a title, and a description. And the essential part is uh, the lower part, where you find this, uh, three uh, checkboxes. You can uh, set each layer to uh, visible or not visible, printable or not printable, or you can lock, can lock a layer and protect it from editing. So uh, we can say a layer in a somewhat um, bundle objects so that they have, behave simultaneously uh, in regard to uh, visibility, principality, and protection independent of um, grouping and the Z order. That is uh, what the user sees. Now let us have a look how that is, that is uh, stored in the ODF file. Uh, ODF has an element uh, layer set to, uh, to store the information. This element is a pure container without any attribute. Um, the, it holds the information of layers. We have a layer element. Uh, there are, uh, can be, of course, uh, a lot of layers in such a layer set. The layer element has uh, some attributes and two uh, child uh, elements. Uh, the child element holds the, uh, the title and the description. That is not relevant here, but the attributes. There is a name attribute um, that is used to identify the layer, and therefore it has to be unique inside this layer set. Uh, then we have an attribute display. It can have the uh, uh, values all, screen, principal, and none. And uh, so is a combination of the um, and properties uh, visible and principal from the user interface. And we have a third attribute, uh, protect, that corresponds to the locked uh, attribute of the uh, user interface. Uh, where can such uh, layer sets be placed. The uh, ODF knows uh, three places where that uh, can be. Uh, it can be inside a page, and the page is part of a drawing or a presentation. Or the layer set can be, uh, if some such page has a layer set, then it is used for this page and only for this page. Another page uh, could have an, a different layer, uh, layer set. Uh, then we have the place that it can be uh, in the master page. Uh, it would be used if, uh, for those pages that have um, assigned this master page and have no own uh, layer set. And the layer set can be placed in the master styles. Uh, that is a fallback and is used if um, a page has no own layer set or no layer set via the master page. Uh, why this is red? Uh, because uh, that is not implemented in LibreOffice. 
but uh, LibreOffice has only implemented layer sets uh, as, um, in a master style. Uh, so it's used, uh, it is one layer set for the whole uh, draw file. Uh, it remains a question uh, how the connection between uh, layer set and objects are uh, realized. And that is very simple. The, <coughs> the object has an attribute layer where it uh, references uh, the layer uh, with its name. An object has, can only have one layer. And um, more important is the layer does not know which objects are assigned to him. So, uh, in ODF it is uh, really clear. It's not different from what you might know, but it is uh, understandable what that uh, happens in ODF. But the origin of LibreOffice and Apache OpenOffice uh, is a star office, and the development of that uh, was uh, 20 years ago. And when uh, the source was opened before the first version of ODF was pu published. So we have uh, many things which uh, are a little bit different in LibreOffice. I uh, show you uh, one thing, what is possible in, uh, in LibreOffice. That is uh, the same document what you have seen already. Uh, now I uh, use a mini window and uh, then new uh, window. I have to break it a little bit and resize it so that I get both side by side. These are two views on the same document. That is, that it is really the same document you can see when I uh, draw a shape that is not only here, but at the same time at the, in the other view. There's two views on one document. But layers behave different. When I here set this layer to invisible, it is only in the, le in the view, and in this view I still see the measure lines. That means that LibreOffice does not treat the layers as property of the page or model, but it treats it as the uh, property of the view. That, uh, uh, that, mean, <coughs> that has a consequence uh, in the way that it uh, does not, that LibreOffice does not uh, store the information into uh, information is visible into the layer element, but it has stored it as configuration item in the settings XML. Uh, and this uh, part settings XML need not be read by any other application. So other applications would not know the state uh, of display or protection. Uh, <coughs> Here is how it looks there. Uh, we have a config item uh, about visible layers. And here you see, uh, it's seldom, but uh, it is stored into a bit field. And therefore, for the XML file, it is um, base64 encoded. And the information is here. Each layer uh, has uh, associated one bit. Namely, in the order it is in the layer set. Um, the bit field has uh, 245 um, bits for available for uh, the layer. 
and um, the surplus bits are not relevant here in the file format, but they are used for initializations inside the core. So, what to do? Uh, the handling of the layers is uh, deeply involved into the views. Uh, I have now found that uh, LibreOffice is, is not uh, actually uh, storing two views, although the uh, source from uh, StarOffice is um, prepared to do uh, such thing. So I have decided to um, take uh, the information from the active view, which is uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the bit field we are seeing, and uh, copy it uh, to the layer set. And uh, the other way around, when I get a file which, uh, which has the information in the layer set, I use it to initialize uh, the view in uh, LibreOffice. Uh, so uh, from um, LibreOffice uh, 62 on, uh, uh, LibreOffice uh, can use uh, the information in the, um, in the layer set. Um, it still writes uh, the information in the settings XML so that older uh, versions can uh, work as before. Uh, but uh, that's not the only problems. Uh, the, we, one example I have here, listen, uh, of Miss You. We can um, look. ODS has an attribute uh, background visible. And what LibreOffice uh, does is it puts uh, this um, information. Um, it makes a layer bit background, and when, it, when this layer background is set to invisible, it treats the objects as invisible, uh, the, the filling as uh, invisible. It's not the sense of ODF. When you remember, I've said it uh, layers bundle objects, but background is about filling, what uh, color my background had or a, or a gradient. It had nothing to do with objects. So, um, um, to, <coughs> to come further with um, making LibreOffice uh, more conforming to ODF is to uh, divide uh, carefully between uh, ODF layers and the internal use of layers for views. Um, that is the state of my development. Um, and I, uh, I have to admit, um, I stuck a little bit in the in this part. <laughs> um, okay, that brings me to the end of my uh, of my <coughs> uh, presentation, and to your uh, comments and uh, questions. You find the presentation with some additional uh, remarks and examples on the um, uh, FOSTEM, FOSTEM slides. How about kicking out some layers and replacing them by groups, giving the flex a two, three flex <laughs> for groups or objects? Uh, the problem is that we uh, get um, documents which have such layers. Uh, we have one document uh, exporter that is uh, Inkscape. Uh, they are um, using global uh, layers. That's good. Uh, this uh, is the same as uh, LibreOffice. Uh, but we have two uh, Caligua uh, Carbon, which produces uh, layers in the way uh, ODF um, has it, and so we have to, to import it. That's, in, that's uh, ready already too, but that's not in uh, 6.2, uh, but it will be in, uh, in the next version then. Which means we have to kill it from the ODT format, and it's even more uh, 
after 10 years being in, I, I'm not sure that it uh, be possible. Okay, yeah. Thanks for your attention, and I hope you will have a nice time at Fostermann.